Hi guys, my name is Annette and this is Maya's Budgets. I'm a 29 year old cash budgeter. I'm a single mom of a four year old beautiful wild child. She's actually about to turn five on sept September, I'm sorry, September 24th. So if you guys have the same birthday, comment down below. Or if you're even just born in September, comment down below. Um, and we're just trying to survive inflation over here. Um, and if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then let's get budgeting. <laughs> so I do get my second paycheck of September on the 26th of this month. So more, it's definitely at the end of the month, but it's all right. Um, I'm actually going to start doing um, a peak and pit of the month or not of the month, of the week, since I only post on Wednesdays right now. So I'm gonna start doing a peak and pit. Um, so I would say that um, my peak, this is supposed to be a six. Um, my peak is that I had some interviews um, and I'm really excited. So keep your fingers crossed for me that I get hired at you know a new position, a new job. Um, but my pit would probably be this week that uh, the job that I have right now is just I, I'm a I'm an employee that just likes to be left alone. Like I am more than willing to work in a team environment, more than willing. But I also like to be left alone. I I'm I'm 29. I'm not a young kid. I know how to do my job. I do my job very well. I don't need my supervisor to be walking around every five minutes seeing if I'm at my desk, seeing if I'm in my cubicle, seeing if I'm doing my work that I need to be doing. It's like, sir, I come here to get paid. I have a child to take care of. I'm not playing any games. Just leave me alone. <laughs> just leave me alone. And this week in particular, this past week, he has just been like on, ever since Friday, he has just been on my booty crack. Like, sir, leave me alone. I, I just, just leave me alone. And that's one of, one of the many reasons why I'm, I really want to find a new position. Um, so that would probably be my peak in my pit. Um, so fingers crossed that I get a new job. And if you're, if you have been, or if you're on the search for a new job um comment down below tell me where you're applying are you trying to apply for some remote positions because i know i am because it's crazy out there like it's crazy anyways let's go ahead so my main income at my full-time position i'm going to be getting 1765 it's pretty standard about unless i miss an hour and don't have any pto or anything like that um but this is pretty standard of what i get bi-weekly every single time um i do put my rent and my car payment um every pay period because i don't like feeling like i'm using my whole check to either pay my rent or my car payment because those are my two biggest bills. So I do split them bi-weekly. So I'll pay half of my rent um, from each paycheck, if that makes sense. It's just what works for me. I know everyone's budget is completely different, but that's just what has been working for me. So I'm gonna be putting 650 for rent and 263 for my car payment. My phone bill Um, my portion, I'm still under my mom's, um, and my grandparents are also on our line, so my portion is only 57, and I do pay a little bit, I believe, um, of my grandparents, like my mom and I pay a little bit of my grandparents just to help them out a little bit, um, so that's why my payment is 57 a month. My water, I estimated it when I, um, as at 75 but i have a feeling because of my washer and dryer i've been using it a lot more well my washer i guess specifically um i've been using it a lot more i feel like that won't be enough but we'll see so over here i'm gonna cross out low priority because i'm not stuck again i, I know that <laughs> 
my videos for the next like month or two are probably going to be very very boring because all i'm doing like my previous video all i'm doing oh jesus Annette, all i'm doing is stuffing um my bills and my like what i owe and that's literally it i'm not stuffing any sinking funds i'm not doing any challenges um just literally bills in my wallet that's that's it that's all i can afford right now because i am paying off my credit card um when we went to the aquarium of the pacific i spent obviously a lot more than i was wanting to and more than what i had budgeted for so i don't want to get so far behind that i need to not stuff at all i don't want that for myself i want to be able to budget for my bills and not get too far behind so this is literally to a t what i'm paying every month um usually the second um check of the month goes more towards bills because a lot of my bigger bills are towards the end of the month if that even makes sense but you guys <laughs> probably don't care you're like annette just keep it moving sister keep it moving um so i have more affirm payments um i think i mentioned this before but most of my affirm payments are amazon um so that's where most of these are coming from like i know um one of these i got a mini stepper if you guys know what that is um it's a little exercise machine <laughs> i love it i highly recommend it um it was about 68 bucks i believe so i'm paying um one of these i can't remember which one exactly um actually i do it's the 13 one so there's 13 um so one of them is for um my mini stepper i have another one that's like i believe 15 90 15 dollars and 90 cents um every month and that one was for my porn <laughs> i bought a portable toilet and like a pop-up tent for my toilet uh when we went camping so that's what that was for um so there's that not that anyone asked but <laughs> you know um and then my gas bill i'm budgeting 15 but i never really know um what it what it is gonna be so i just go based off of what i generally pay on average so so the total for all of my bills which are these and these um is 1147 so what i have left over from that let's see can you guys even see that so I get paid 1765 So that's what I get paid. So that's my income. That's my paycheck. I start out with that and then I go to my bills because that's what I'm obviously my high priority right now is my bills. Being able to pay all of those off, which I always do. Um, I never want to get in the habit of not paying my bills first because that just gets you in trouble <laughs> um okay so there's that and then we're gonna minus the total of all of these bills which is the 1147 and that gives us 618 dollars left over which i put right here so that means that 618 dollars i can use for my variable expenses and then um what i owe after that so my variable expenses, these are what goes in my wallet. These are things that don't change um, unless I obviously add a new envelope. So, which I'm thinking of adding a Starbucks one because my coworker and I, we are doing the buy one, get one free every Thursday for Starbucks. And she, this is her week, but you know, obviously I want to treat her as well. Um, and going forward, you know, I would want to only spend a certain amount because, girl, those Starbucks drinks are ridiculous. Tell me why I paid, like, eight something for a venti. Like, I get it's a lot of liquid, but, like, eight dollars worth? Are you are you kidding? I rem Anybody else remember when, like, a, a grande was three seventy five? Those were the days. Bring those days back, please, because your girl be broke. I really don't know how some of these people are out here spending like 
getting drinks every single day at Starbucks or a drink and like a, uh, what are they called? Um, those muffins that they have at Starbucks, they're good. Don't get me wrong. The bacon Gouda, girl, right up my alley. But am I going to spend how, like $15, $16 on that? Absolutely not. That's why I bought groceries. That's why I budget for groceries. Like, I cannot do that. But then again, that might just be because I have a child. Like, my priorities are obviously different than, like, a 23-year-old who goes and gets Starbucks every day, who has no, like, responsibilities. Not in, a, not in a rude way, but, you know, someone that doesn't have children yet. Their priorities are just different. So, I just wish that <laughs> the freaking Starbucks was as cheap as it used to be. Okay, so my groceries, I've actually been doing really good with this amount. I know I used to stuff more than this, but I'm doing pretty good with spending this amount on um, my variable expenses. Okay, so this is 160. So this is what, 240? Okay, so my leftover amount after my variable expenses. So I'm going to go ahead and take the 618 that was left over from the bills. And I'm going to minus what's um, the total for my variable expenses, expenses, which is 240. And that's going to give us our leftover amount of 378. Okay, and... Now I do have uh, my car insurance, which is due in, it's due on October 12th, I believe. Um, so I do have a certain amount in my wallet. I believe I have, not my wallet, my sinking fund for my car insurance, which I'm glad that I stuffed it those, on, those few times because that means that this amount is gonna be less. So I think I have $104 in that envelope. And my total for my car insurance for the six months was 484. So that brings that balance obviously down by 104. So what I'm gonna stuff from this next check is 190. And then I have my kin and disc. So this one is, I'm going to pay 35. And then this one, I'm going to pay 153. The total. <coughs> oh my God. Um, the total should be zero. So let's go ahead and, what is that? I think that's, okay, so let's do minus 190 and then minus 35, 153. <laughs> I don't know why I got so excited. Um, so that is 378. And there you go. That is how I budget my paychecks. It's starting to look very similar to the last week. And it probably, like I said, will look very similar um, going forward as well for a little bit because I don't, as much as I love doing these videos, I don't want to get behind just because I want to have something to film, if that makes sense. Um, I want to pay all my bills, not get behind, be able to pay my um, credit cards, and whatever I owe and that be that as long as I have these variable expenses I don't feel like I'm restricting myself at all which I feel is a very big thing for myself let me know down below if it's very similar for you or how you um, feel about budgeting um, this way as a zero based budgeter um, I love it honestly it <laughs> gives me my money a for me, it feels like it's giving my money a purpose, um, having it go 
in a specific envelope or a specific category. Um, a lot of these bills I will keep in my account. Um, like my rent, it'll be, it'll stay in my account because I obviously will pay it like a few days later. Anyways, let me know um, what you guys think about zero-based budgeting. Let me also know, leave me a heart down below if your birthday is in September. Let me know what day. We could wish each other a happy birthday and wish my dire, my dire. <laughs> wish my daughter a happy fifth birthday thank you guys so much have a good day i'll see you next time bye